Hello guys and welcome to today's class. In today's class we'll be discussing the derivative of sine to the power of n of x and cos to the power of n of x. And at the end of this class we should learn how to differentiate any function of this kind whether we have sine squared x or sine cubed x or any other function of this kind. And please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, kindly do well to subscribe so you get notifications when I upload new videos. And if at the end of this class you enjoy this class, do well to also like this video. Alright guys, so if you have a function y equal to sine to the power of n of x, how do we differentiate this function? The best way we can differentiate this function is to rewrite it as a chained function. That means we should write this as sine of x to the power of n. So we can clearly see this as a chain function, a function inside and then raised to power n. This is a chain function. And so we can quickly identify our u to be sine x and then rewrite our y, right? So from this, our u is sine of x. And then we can write y to be u to the power of n, u raised to the power n. Okay, if you've written this, the next part is just to differentiate u and also differentiate y. If we differentiate u with respect to x, we would have cosine of x. That's cos x, right? And then if you differentiate y with respect to u, dy du would be an algebraic differentiation of this term, right? So this would be n u n minus 1. Okay, so the next step is to find our dy dx. So our dy dx could be the multiplication of these two derivatives, this times this. So I will have dy du times du dx. And if I should multiply these two derivatives, I will have n u n minus 1 times cos x. Okay, but I need to rewrite u in terms of x, right? u is sine x. So if I rewrite this, I would have n, my u this time is sine x, right? Raised to power n minus 1, and then I have cos x. Okay, this is fine. Now, but if you have a trig function to any power n minus 1, this power n minus 1 should be placed on the trig value itself. I have a trig function to any power. Take this power and place on the trig value. And so we would have n sine n minus 1 of x does this, the power of this trig value, sine, and then we have cos x. And this will be our derivative, our dy dx. Alright, let's look at some examples on this to better understand how to differentiate this function. Let's look at this example. We have y equal to sine squared x. Sine to the power of 2, then x. Alright. Like I said, to differentiate this function, it is best we rewrite it as a chain function. We take this power up, right? And so this would be sine x to the power of 2. This and this are the same, right? But from here, we can now identify our u and then write our y. Our u here would be sine of x, right? And then y becomes u to power 2, y equal to u squared. We we'll simplify our du dx and our dy du, right? We differentiate these functions. If I differentiate this with respect to x, I would have, if I differentiate sine x, I have cos x. That's beautiful. Then I differentiate y with respect to u. If I differentiate y with respect to u, this will give me 2u. Remember, y is dependent on values of u, right? This is y equal to u squared. This is not y equal to x squared. So this is the relationship between y and u. So if I want to differentiate y, I would differentiate with respect to u and not x. So that's why I have du. That's why I have dy du, right? Okay. So the next part now is to find my dy dx by multiplying these two derivatives, right? So dy 
dx becomes the product of these two derivatives, right? So this is dy du times du dx. And please, this multiplication doesn't have any particular order. I can decide to multiply this times this, but I chose to do this times this. They are all correct, right? So if I replace the values here, dy du, I have 2u. And then du dx, I have cos x. But I need to rewrite the value of u because I'm looking for dy dx. And so my final answer should be in terms of x. So if I rewrite u to be sine x, I will have 2 sine x, then cos x. And this is my dy dx. 2 sine x cos x. But this also have a different name, right? 2 sine x cos x is something as sine 2x. So we can finalize this to be sine 2x. And please note that this is not the same as this. This is sine squared x and this is sine 2x. Okay, and this is the derivative of that. All right, let's also look at this example y equal to sine to the power of 5 of x. Okay, to differentiate this, first we need to rewrite this function to be sine x to power 5. Okay, now. From this, we can identify a chain function, right? So we can say the inner function is u, which is sine x, and then we can rewrite our y to be u to power 5. The next step here is to differentiate u with respect to x, and then differentiate y with respect to u. So this becomes du dx. If I differentiate sine x, I have cos x. And if I differentiate y with respect to u, I will have dy du. If I differentiate this, more like an algebraic differentiation, I will have 5u to power 4, 5 minus 1. Okay, the next step is to multiply these two derivatives to find my dy dx. So my dy dx is the product of these two derivatives, right? Now, I'm choosing to write this first, this first before this, because of this coefficient 5, right? So it just goes direct as coefficient, then another function multiplying, right? So that's why I'm choosing this first. But if I decide to do du dx times dy du, it's still perfect, as long as you can um, simplify it well at the end of the day. So let me take dy du times du dx, and this would be 5u to power 4 times cos x. If I rewrite my u, I will have 5. My u is sine x to power 4. And then I have cosine x cos x, right? Now, but I said that if you have a trig function, this sine function, it has to a given power. This power should be on the trig value itself, should be on sine. So this will give us 5 sine to power 4 of x, then cos x. If you choose to put this x in bracket, it's fine. If you don't also put them in bracket, it's still very much understandable. This is the derivative of this function. Now, let's talk about cos to the power of n of x. If you are given a function y equal to cos to the power n of x, the same approach we took on the sine function, we also do the same to the cosine function, right? So we simply rewrite this as cos x to power n. And then identify this to be our u. Our u this time is cos x. And then our y becomes u to power n, which is u to power n here. So differentiate u with respect to x. If I differentiate cos x, I'll have a negative sine x, right? If I differentiate y with respect to u, I have dy du. And if I differentiate this algebraic differentiation, I have n u n minus 1. But remember, in my final solution, my dy dx, I need to rewrite the value of u to be in terms of x. So let me multiply this to find my dy dx. Remember, dy dx is the product of these two derivatives. So I have dy du times du dx. 
And this would give me n u n minus 1. Then the u dx is a negative sine x. Okay. But I need to rewrite my, my u, right? I need to rewrite my u. So this gives me n. My u this time is cos x to power n minus 1. Then I have a negative sine x. Definitely, this minus should go outside, right? Should be factored out. So I would have negative n. This cos should have this n minus 1 as its power. The power should be on the trig value, right? So this is cos n minus 1 x, then sine x. Already the minus is out here. And so this becomes our dy dx. So, guys, if you can master this formula, then you can differentiate any cosine function to an nth power, right? Any cosine function to any nth power. As long as this power is a positive integer, it's a natural number. So, if you have cos to power n of x is simply a negative n, then cos n minus 1 x, then sine x. Alright, guys, let's now look at some practical examples so we can better understand how to differentiate functions of this kind. Okay, let's look at this function y equal to cos squared x. For the sine function, we talked about sine squared x. Now for the cosine function, let's talk about cos squared x. And like we said, this can be written as cos x to power 2. Right. So our u this time is cos x. The inside function is cos x. We write our y. Our y is simply u to power 2 u to power 2 right the next step now is to find the u the x and the y the u we find the u the x if i differentiate cos x the negative sine x if i differentiate y with respect to u i'll have dy the u and if i differentiate this i have 2u or the bright differentiation then the next step is simply to multiply these two derivatives right so i have dy the x equal to dy du dy du times du dx du dx and this would be 2u times a negative sine x it's important you put this in bracket so you don't think this is just a negative 2u minus sine x put it in bracket to show that it is multiplied right so this would give us a negative 2u sine x. But we need to write the value of u because this is dy dx. And so the final answers should be in terms of x and not u. So we need to write the value of u. We know that u is cos x. So if you rewrite this, this would give us a negative 2 cos x and then sine x. Okay. Remember last time we differentiated sine squared x. We got something like this. We go from this point, we got something like this, right? And we said it's, it's sine 2x. So we have this, but we have a negative attached. So this can be a negative sine 2x. And this is our dy dx. So the simple trick is this. If it is cos squared x, then it's a negative sine 2x. But if it is sine squared x then it's a positive sine 2x i mean is the y the x is a positive sine 2x okay guys let's look at this example we have y equal to cos to the power of 12 of x okay to differentiate this is very simple we rewrite this as cos x then to power 12 right and then the next step is to identify our u to be cosine of x and then write our y to be u to power 12 because u is cos x so this becomes u to power 12 u to power 12 the next step find your du dx which is definitely a negative sine x then the next step find dy du which is algebraic differentiation 12 u to power 11 12 minus 1 11 Okay, and so the next step is now to find our dy dx by multiplying these two derivatives. Like I said, 
Whether you start from du dx times dy dx is still fine, or you do dy dx, sorry, dy du times du dx, it will still give you your final answer to be dy dx. So dy dx here would be dy du times du dx. And this would be 12u to power 11 and then a negative sine x. Please note the way I'm putting this in bracket because of this negative. So you don't confuse yourself in what you are solving. So you don't think this is 12 u to power 11 minus sine x. No. This is multiplying the negative sine x. That's why it's in the bracket. So if I simplify this further, I will have negative 12 u to power 11 and then sine of x. And please don't be confused. Putting x in bracket is still the same thing as not putting it in bracket. To so all mean the same thing. So I need to rewrite my u to be in terms of x. And so this would be a negative 12. My u is cosine of x to power 11 and then sine x. And this would be negative 12 cosine 11 x sine of x. And this is my dy dx. Now let's look at the general example that can help us see a direct approach to differentiate this function. Okay, so imagine you have y equal to, let's take this one, sine to power 4 of x. And you want to differentiate this fast. Okay, the first thing you just do, like we said, simply write this for clarity's sake as sine to power 4. And then the next step, let's go directly to find our dy dx. dy dx would be differentiate the whole of this like an algebraic function. And the rest of our 4 is for that value to power 3. For that value, 4 minus 1, like an algebraic term, right? Differentiate the full function like an algebraic function. So we have this. And then go inward, differentiate the sine function. I have the cosine of x. If I differentiate sine x, I have cos x. And so I can finalize this to be 4. The power will be on the trig value. Sine 3x cos x. And this is my dy dx. Or better still, we can use our formula method. We can use the formula to differentiate any function of this form. So, I mean, if you have y equal to cosine, let's say power 6, then of x. We can use the formula for the derivative of cos n x, cos to power n of x, that dy dx is equal to the negative n cos n minus 1 of x, then sine x. We know this formula. We started with this formula when I showed how to differentiate this cosine function. I gave this formula. So we can directly use this formula to differentiate also. As long as you can identify your n, so we have a negative n this time is 6, then cosine 6 minus 1 is 5 of x, then sine of x. This is our dy dx. So whether you're using a formula which I've given or you want to use the chain rule method, you can also find your dy dx. Okay, so I believe with this example so far, you've been able to learn how to differentiate sine to the power of n of x and cos to the power of n of x. And please, if you enjoyed this video, kindly do well to like this video and also subscribe to this channel so you get notifications when I upload new videos.